Hey there, mighty business owners who use FreshBooks. This is a short video, and it will be all about how to add a missing bank transactions in the FreshBooks bank reconciliation screen. Now, this is not about how to add a missing expense into your FreshBooks. I'm pretty sure you already know how to do that. This is about what happens when the magical connection to the bank inexplicably is just missing a transaction. I do think that there are little gremlins that live inside the internet and love to make tiny little glitches that make no sense and are just inconvenient enough to make tiny little problems that ruin your hour. And for whatever reason, sometimes FreshBooks and the bank miss a transaction from your bank feed. First, I'm gonna show you how to simply add what is missing. But then after we get through with that, which takes about 30 seconds for me to teach you, I'm gonna tell you some trouble spots to watch out for because adding transactions affects other parts of your FreshBooks account beyond the bank rec screen. So be sure to stick around and watch the whole video. All right, let's go fight some gremlins. So this problem is gonna occur on the left side of your bank rec screen. And if you never fix this, you will never, ever, ever be able to properly reconcile your bank and credit card accounts. And I can 100% guarantee you that if you don't reconcile your accounts, your bookkeeping is wrong. So in the past, if you were missing transactions, you used to have to put in a support ticket, but FreshBooks finally released this tiny little button. So you are going to open up your bank statement and methodically go through the statement until you have entered all the missing transactions by using this tiny little button. All right, so you've selected the button and now you're gonna have to select whether it's money in or money out. You're gonna make sure the date is correct. You need to add a little description if you want. Um, I would take the time to put something there so you don't have to look back at your bank statements again because uh, otherwise you won't have any information about what the charge was. So you've added all your details, click confirm and continue. And now you can see that the transaction is properly on the left side and you can commence with your normal bookkeeping workflow. And you have all the money in and all the money out. So you're gonna be able to properly reconcile your account. Now, if you need to edit because you made a mistake, then you're just gonna click the little box on the left of the transaction and go to bulk actions and you'll be able to edit or delete. But Kate, you ask, how do I even know if there are transactions missing? Well, I'll give you a few ways to check. First, one is when you fully clear out and reconcile everything on your left side of the bank rec screen, these two numbers in the top need to match. So in this uh, tutorial, in this example, this FreshBooks account still has transactions on the left side, so they obviously wouldn't match. But when you clear this out, if they don't match, something's wrong. Another way is when you check your petty cash balance in your general ledger report. That's in your report section. That account is always supposed to clear to zero. If it has a balance, you better have a good reason why it has a balance and have a plan to make sure that it is eventually going to clear out to zero, likely through a journal entry or through categorizing everything correctly. Tackling Petty Cash Account is part of my weekly bookkeeping checklist for FreshBooks users, and you can download that checklist below. And this is especially going to show up when you have inter-account transfers that aren't clearing out to zero in Petty Cash because you're only transferring from one account because the opposite side of the account has the transaction that's missing, and that was the problem that we were trying to solve. A third easy way that you know that you have um, a transaction missing is that you see invoices that have been paid and they're showing up on the right side of the FreshBooks bank rec screen, I, or the FreshBooks side as I call it sometimes, um, but, the, but you don't have the deposit showing up on the left side. So that's gonna be an obvious way to know that there's a problem. Why was something paid when there's no money deposited that's to match that payment? Hey, side note, while we're talking about banks, a quick plug for my, uh, my business bank, Relay Financial, I can say that I've never had a problem with my Relay Bank connection, which is the bank that I recommend, because it was built by people who were former accounting software developers and engineers, so they really know how to build financial and banking tools. All right, let's, so keep, let's keep moving on. You have got the missing transactions inserted, but you have got quite a bit of work to do before you can reconcile. FreshBooks is going to act like this was a regularly imported transaction now. So what happens when a transaction is imported by the bank? Well, if it's a money out, even if it's not an expense, but maybe it's a transfer between accounts or maybe it's an owner's draw, but it's a money out, the first thing that FreshBooks thinks is that this is an expense. So it's going to put it in the expenses tab. So if it is an expense, you have to go into your expenses tab and give it a merchant name and a category and attach a receipt if you do that, or mark it to a project if you use that feature. You have to do all the things you normally do to get expenses um, classified correctly so then you can match them to the um, right side of the bank rec screen. 
Now, if that money out was a transfer or an owner's draw, you will simply have to mark it as such in the bank rec screen, and then it's going to auto-magically disappear as an expense, um, just like it normally does. A couple of other noteworthy things to mention about this new feature. First, if you delete or undelete a money out transaction, it is going to delete or restore, if you undelete it, it's going to um, del undelete or restore that in the expenses section, okay? But if you edit the transaction that you um, added in the bank rec screen, it will not affect the corresponding expense entry. You're going to have to go back to that expense and do the same edit there too. Like if you put in a wrong number, you're going to have to go make that number correct on the ex in the expenses tab as well. I'm not sure if you're going to find it more efficient to delete the transaction and enter a new and correct one, or if you like to go edit the expense to make it correct so you can match it and reconcile it. Uh, probably equally um, equal amount of work either pathway. Another trouble spot this is going to cause is for those of you who are really paying attention to your books and you're paying attention to your expenses section, but you're not reconciling. And you might have noticed an expense was missing from your expenses tab. So you were on the ball and you manually entered it, or maybe you uploaded some ex the missing expenses with a CSV. Well, uh-oh, now we got some trouble because you hand entered it already and then now the bank rec is going to push that expense over into the expense section too. So you've got to delete one of those two identical transactions. Got it? Hopefully the fact that an expense is missing will be a trigger in your mind that you might need to check your bank feed instead of doing those manual expense entries. All right, so we're going to say we're done here. Would you comment below and subscribe if you found this helpful? Maybe a, hey, Kate, you sure do know your fresh books. It sure helps this channel grow. And do you know that these are the exact types of problems that can get very out of hand if you don't stay on top of your bookkeeping? So I'd like to invite you to reach out to see if my weekly office hours for fresh books users would be a good solution for you. I will hold you accountable to keep your books up to date so you can use your financial data to actually run your business and grow your business. And I'll be there to answer and untangle all these pesky questions like this one that we just solved with this video. All right, comment below if you have any other questions about FreshBooks, and I just might make a tutorial about it. I'm Kate Josephine Johnson, and I help businesses build their business legacy.